Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time it is when you are joining me wherever you are and welcome to another yoga studio. It's fab to have everyone here on the mat today with me, so thank you. Today is a little short practice just to help us ground and focus ourselves into our body. Well, one of those times when your head is just uh, and your body just doesn't feel like it's all quite collecting together. So we are going to start in a seated position on the ground and just spend a moment with the breath. So make sure you are feeling comfortable wherever you are. If you want to grab a blanket, a block, anything like that to sit on, please do. And you don't have to sit cross-legged. You can sit in any position that allows you to just focus on the breathing. So once you're comfortable, maybe take a little wriggle, let your hands rest on your thighs or on your lap. And we're going to turn the palms down just to help us ground a little bit more. Close the eyes if that feels okay. And just begin to tune into the breathing. Noticing your inhale and your exhale. And then keeping working with the breath, just notice the points of your body and where they connect to the floor or your prop if you're sitting on a prop. So we'll be starting thinking about just the area around the sitting bones. And maybe your legs are connected to the mat, to the floor underneath. Maybe you can feel the way the feet touch the floor. And then bring one hand onto your center, one hand to your heart. Press just gently with the hand so you feel that connection of the body moving with the breath. See if you can feel into the space under the hands. Take one more breath. And then you can open your eyes if you want. We're gonna, if you haven't been sitting with the legs extended out in front of you already, just extend the legs and move the fingers and move the toes. Move your hands and move your feet. You don't have to move fast, you can move slow. And just be conscious of how your head, uh, how your uh, body feels in the space. Where are your hands, where are your feet? And then take your hands onto the floor, walking them away behind you. Take your feet onto the floor. So they're just a little way in front of your knees. Press into those places that we've been moving, the hands and the feet. And as you breathe out, squeeze the belly in, lift the hips up. So you kind of come to a reverse tabletop. And just feel the feet and the hands pressing into the floor. If you haven't got your bum very high, that's fine. What we want to do is feel that connection with the floor underneath.
take the hips all the way down and bring yourself round however feels best into a forward tabletop position knees under the hips hands under the shoulders take a little rock back and forwards again feeling the connection of the points of the body on the floor and then settle yourself so you have your chest or your shoulders over your hands your hips over your knees keep that awareness of where you are touching the mat touching the floor underneath and then exhale round up so we're squeezing the belly in pushing that space around the heart the chest up and then as you inhale pressing the trunk the center of the body the belly and the heart the chest forwards so we were holding those spaces a moment ago think of those spaces moving up and down nice and slow again take one more so arching and then rounding one more time finishing with our cat or oh, our little arch at the back keep that arch then there and walk the hands forward so we come to puppy dogs so we've got the hips over the knees again just think about pressing the fingers and the palms into the floor maybe we start to let the elbows then press into the mat and our forehead touches the floor feel the knees maybe the front of the shins and the feet on the floor press into your palms your fingers your arms press into your feet and whatever part of the legs is touching the mat no need to press the head into the floor but just feel that weight the weight of the head sinking into the mat Good, take a breath in and then slowly walk your hands back up to tabletop. Tuck the toes under and as you exhale, lift the hips up and back. You could pedal the feet out here if you wanted, bringing a little bit of movement into that downward facing dog. And then when you're ready, just let the heels rest to the floor as best you can no worries if they don't touch or if there's a bend in the knees press through the fingers and the palms press through the toes and if you have got the heels on the floor feel the whole of the foot resting on the mat so what we're wanting you to do is to ground and become aware of the body the mind finding the space of the body as it fills the space on the mat and the area around you so focus on that feeling rather than worrying about what the poses look like. Good. Exhale, walk the hands back to the feet. Take a little bend in the knees, let the head drop forwards. And then exhale, squeeze the belly in, round all the way up, pressing through the toes, the feet, the heels. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to your centre, push your knees over your toes, send the hips back. We're coming to Utkatasana, chair pose. Feel the strength of the legs and the feet underneath you. exhale push all the way up shifting the weight onto your left foot see if you can squeeze the knee up in towards your chest so we're really aware of our foot and our leg connection with the balance if it helps to take the hands out to the side or hold onto a wall then you can and then take the right foot down shift the weight over find that connection through the right side exhale squeeze the left knee up maybe just gently pulling the belly in for a little bit of support
Good, take the left foot down. Breathe in, breathe out. Releasing the hands down, roll all the way towards the floor. Keep feeling the feet on the mat. Walk your hands out until you come to a plank pose. Now, by all means, drop your knees here if you wish. Squeeze the belly in, tuck the tailbone under. Feel the toes, the fingers and the palms on the floor. If you've got your knees on the floor, that's an extra place we can ground down through. Good, release the knees. Come all the way down towards the floor. Bring the hands out in front, elbows underneath the shoulders. Squeeze the shoulders back, lift the chest. Press through the palms, the hands, the arms. And then feel your hips and your feet and your legs sinking down. Again, just fight. See if you can feel your body spread through the mat, through the space you're in. And then we're going to breathe out. Walk the hands back in. Let the hips come back to the heels. Curl forwards. Find child's pose. Hands can go wherever you want. You could support the head here if you need it. Or maybe we reach the hands in front or by the feet. Tune in to whatever part of the body is touching the floor. and feel the connection of those places on the mat. Good, exhale, slowly round up. Sending the feet one way, hips the other. We're going to come into a wide leg position. So just taking the feet as wide as they can comfortably go, maybe getting a little stretch through the inner thigh, sit nice and tall. Give yourself a little wiggle. Feel again every place that is touching the floor. Relax the shoulders and as you breathe out, we're going to walk the hands forwards. Think about how your hands are moving through the space, connecting to the floor until you find a comfortable position to rest in. So that might be up here, maybe even just the fingertips are touching the mat. Maybe you get a little bit forwards, maybe you can bring the elbows to the mat, maybe you stretch all the way out across and you're able to get your head on the chest to the floor. It's so one of those positions, just feel wherever you are in the space, feel the connection of the floor underneath. Inhale, sit yourself up, scooting your feet in towards each other. We're going to curl down towards the floor. So just finding our head connected to the floor, maybe the neck, the shoulders. Notice where the spine sits on the mat, the hips. Bring the soles of the feet together. Open the knees out to the sides so you feel the edges of the feet touching the floor. Feel the backs of the arms and the hands resting on the mat. Close the eyes here if you wish. So grounding down whilst opening through the space and finding a connection at the same time.
When you're ready, we're going to bring the hands to the outside of the thighs. Exhale, squeeze the knees using the hands in towards each other. Plant the feet on the floor so they're a little way in front of the hips. And then when you're ready, exhale, turn the tailbone up. Peel the back up off the mat, rolling all the way onto the shoulders. Press through the shoulders, the arms and the hands, see if you can lift the hips a little higher. Feel the weight of the head on the floor and the feet pressing, grounding into the mat. Exhale, roll all the way back down. Take a hug of the knees. And then drop the feet back to the floor. Just walk them away from you. If it doesn't feel comfortable to lie flat, by all means, keep a little bend in the knees. Just relax totally on the mat for a moment, feeling the body resting, grounded on the floor. Feel where the body touches the mat. Notice if that connection changes as you breathe. Now you can stay here longer if you wish, but otherwise we're gonna just stretch through the fingers and the toes again. Feel the connection right to the ends of the body. Stretch the arms back past your head. Stretch out through your space. Feel the connection from the fingers to the toes in the body. And then hug the knees up in towards your chest. And roll round onto your side. Pushing yourself up to a comfortable seated position when you're ready. Sit however feels comfortable. Keep the eyes closed for a moment longer if you can. Let your hands rest on your knees or your thighs. Take two more breaths here. Then bring the hands together, give them a little rub. Place the palms of your hands over the eyes. Feel your hands and your face connecting together. And then slowly peel the hands away as you open your eyes and then see the space back around you. Inhale, reach up with the hands and then as you exhale, take the hands down to your center, bowing your head to your fingers. And we'll seal our practice in with Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel just a little bit more connected and grounded in your space. If you liked today's video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you know when to join me next on the mat. All right, take care now. Bye.